So I wanted to talk today about nine Udemy courses I think every web software engineer should have. Now these are nine courses that without a doubt would add something to your skill set as a software engineer. You might be at the very beginning of your career, so you might be looking to break into uh, software engineering, or you might be someone who's been in it for a while and maybe wants to brush up uh, on their uh, software engineering skills, or somebody who wants to just approach front end at all, or somebody who wants to even just go over the basics of everything and have more of a complete knowledge of a certain skill set from start to finish. Well, these courses will help you do just that. So I've got nine courses here that uh, will take you from start to finish on any given subject. And I think that's a great way to go because sometimes when you watch YouTube videos, they kind of give you a snapshot of that particular skill set and that particular video. Whereas these courses absolutely take you from the start right to the very end of what you should know. Uh, now, they no, don't always necessarily go into advanced topics. That's obviously for you to pick up and learn as you go along. And, and that's where the YouTube videos can come in and really help out. But I really do recommend doing a course on Udemy or wherever else on any uh, video platform or education platform site. Um, because like that and reading a book, you gain so much from taking a course or any subject and really study it in like a package format. Right, let's get on with it. So the first course that I would want to show you as someone who is a web software engineer is modern HTML, CSS, the course. Now this is done by someone we all probably know, uh, that's Brad Traversy. So that's tr from Traversy Media, the big YouTube channel. And Brad's put together a course on HTML and CSS. Now a little bit about Brad and his HTML tutorial. So he's got some on YouTube, which are absolutely amazing. Now, I remember when I first started YouTube, I kind of took that style of how we uh, taught and I just really connected with it because it's a really good style of teaching the basics. And he does the same for CSS. So. If we have a look here, we can see he's got his entire course. He's got HTML basics, uh, CSS basics, and then he takes you through and builds some projects and everything you need really to learn. So responsive layouts, Flexbox, and some more projects, and then some more CSS concepts, animations, etc. It's a brilliant course, highly recommend it. So yeah, this is one course that I could very easily recommend based off the tutorials that Brad has done on YouTube, which are always uh, bangers. So this uh, HTML and CSS from the beginning course by Brad is one, if you are starting from the beginning, definitely uh, grab this one. Now the next course I want to go over is by one of my favorite Udemy tutors, and that is uh, Max Schwartzmuller. I uh, probably butchered that, but he, uh, is the person behind Academind, which I believe is a two person operation now. But uh, originally, I think it was Max who started that. But his courses, I've pretty much got all of, um, and they are absolutely amazing. There's a reason why this is one of the biggest guys in software engineering on Udemy. He has the biggest course set, he sells the most courses, and there's a reason for it because they're really good. Now, Accelerated JavaScript uh, takes you a little bit deeper into JavaScript, but I think it, it kind of just shows more of JavaScript in the course. And he starts right from the very beginning, uh, language basics, types and scopes, um, and just goes over everything. So arrays, objects, everything that you would need to learn to get started with JavaScript. And he's really good at explaining things that a lot of times when you watch videos, sometimes you get, well, he's kind of skipped over a step and not explained it. Max is really good at kind of predicting what you would be thinking at this stage as a beginner and answering it. So accelerated JavaScript training, it's uh, an easy recommendation. It's a course that I've taken as well. And the good thing about Max is he generally updates all his courses um, nearly every year or every other year to keep up to date with what's going on in the community. 
So if you get a max course, uh, generally it will be up to date. So yeah, accelerated JavaScript if you're going down the JavaScript route. And the next one comes as no surprise. Uh, if you are going to be a software engineer in uh, today's industry, you're going to need to know about React in some way or another. It's one of the best skills for employability. It's one of the best uh, libraries that a lot of uh, subset frameworks are kind of based off it. So your things like your Next.js, uh, Remix, um, even Astro, I guess, to a certain degree. So a lot of really popular frameworks that build on top of React. Um, so it's really good to kind of know uh, React from the ground up. So again, this is by Max. And again, this is a course that I have taken, so I can easily recommend this course. I think I've uh, gone over it twice. So again, I, I mentioned that Max updates his courses for free. He updated this course so much in his latest update that it was absolutely worth kind of going over again. He, uh, I think the, the first time he did the course, he kind of went over hooks a little bit and then he completely overhauled the entire course and you essentially got that for free if you had bought it the first time. A little tip for these types of courses, generally the person who owns the course, try and find out if they have a website. So I know Brad has his own website and I know that Max has his own website, Academide. If you go to their website and then click the links from there, generally you get a further discount. So this is $15.99. I would wager it's actually even cheaper going from their website and it will still take you to Udemy, but with a discount code. So that is one thing to do is any, any creator you have here, check out the websites and try and follow the course to Udemy there and buy it for even cheaper. But this React course has absolutely everything that you're going to need to get started. And it even goes to uh, advanced concepts as well. So you could get to about this stage and then decide I'm going to go back to this once I'm a bit more comfortable with React and then go over it again once you, you've got more experience. So these are the type of courses that can stay with you for years and you can revisit and they'll probably change with whatever library or framework that you're using um, or language. So yeah, the React one is a great one. Now this one is a bit of a controversial one because generally when people are starting, they kind of either love the idea of using a terminal or they absolutely dread it. Now I personally really enjoyed the idea of using a terminal when I first started as a developer and I really wanted to get to grips with it. Um, and I'm very lucky that in my first job, I had a lead dev that was very enthusiastic for me to learn how to use a terminal. He did happen to be a backend dev, but I won't hold that against him. It was, uh, it was really good to learn it. And if you are using a WSL uh, on windows, and if you are using a Mac or if you're using a Linux operating system, shout out to everyone using Arch, uh, right now, um, then you're probably going to be coming across, uh, learning uh, you know, bash shell scripting of some kind and, and learning some of the basics of these commands that will hold you in good stead uh, across uh, all of those. So what this will do is this will tell you how to manage files, how to create shell script files, um, you know, how to create a list of commands. So for example, you could create a shell script file that helps you set up a new uh, computer. Um, every time, you know, you might set up a new MacBook, for example, uh, you, you might build a shell script for that, that goes and installs everything that does a homebrew and whatever it is that you want to do node, uh, installs all of that, um, sets up your terminal in the way you want, sets up, you, you know, your NeoVim settings, all at once, like all these things you can set up in bash scripts, or you can use them to run certain store commands for certain projects, PHP projects, for example, e-commerce projects. I think bash can be very useful. It really is good to pair it with uh, learning Git. So improve your Git foo and just improve your uh, terminal foo as well. So uh, absolutely essential one to uh, learn and it will help you over the long term. It really will. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this course is by Francesco Santi. So understanding TypeScript. So this is a course uh, by Max as well. Uh, Max Schwartzmuller, who is obviously the guy behind Academind. Uh, this is a course I've taken as well. And if you are going down the JavaScript path in web software engineering, then you absolutely should uh, dip your toes into TypeScript. 
Now, TypeScript is great for employability. It's a great introduction into types in software engineering. So you start to understand how types work, why it's important to introduce types into your code base from uh, end to end and why to expect particular types and, and why it helps reduce bugs, etc. cetera. Um, because a lot of languages take uh, type safety probably a lot more seriously <laughs> than JavaScript does. Um, but again, JavaScript was built in like a handful of days. So yeah, it wasn't like the most well thought out language, whereas, you know, other languages have kind of had a bit more time to figure this stuff out, i.e. Rust. So yeah, this is a great one to learn. Definitely recommend it. Again, I've taken this uh, course as well, um, and you can expect updates to this. I know TypeScript 5 uh, just came out. So I'm assuming uh, this, I mean, it says it's been updated in February, 2023. So there you go. Absolutely great course to go for. Now the next course is clean code. Now clean code is again by Academine, so it's always updated. And I've seen this course been recommended on Twitter so much. And I've actually got this course, but I've not taken it. Um, but I, I am really looking forward to taking the course uh, at some point. And the idea is that essentially you have to think of code in a way that is empathetic to your wider team in the sense that you're considering other people, you're considering other developers and you're considering writing code in a way that is human friendly and readable and easy to scan and easy to work with. And there are certain techniques that are around uh, common practices that can help. Um, and also some very uncommon ones. So this course kind of delivers on all of that. And I would definitely look into this. It goes into a few more advanced topics. So this is probably one that you should kind of do towards the end of your learning, but it is a really good one. And I think if you are someone who's getting into tech, if you're getting into software engineering, this will put you uh, quite a bit ahead of the pack uh, among all the other people who are probably vying for those junior jobs, which at this point in time, they are quite difficult to get, I would say. And I think something like this is the thing that will put you ahead of someone else kind of going for you. And even if you're someone who is a junior, this will help you uh, immensely as well. And I'm a senior and, I, and I'm still looking at courses like this because they are the type of courses that you kind of want to be looking towards anyway. So yeah, absolutely recommend this clean code one. It's a big course on Udemy. Uh, it's obviously got a lot of uh, high ratings. And again, it comes highly recommended on Twitter. So take from that what you will. Now, another great course uh, that I would recommend is this advanced JavaScript course. So we've gone through accelerated JavaScript and we've gone through a React course and a TypeScript course that do delve into just the wider JavaScript. But this one is particularly great. And the reason why is because of the creator. Um, Asim is a absolutely fantastic creator. If you do want to learn JavaScript seriously, uh, then I would completely recommend this course. And it's always good to kind of shake up who you learn from. So you might learn, you know, you might particularly gel with one, you know, uh, teacher, online teacher, but it's always recommended that you try and take the same ideas and the same uh, kind of concepts and try and learn it from a different person because they might have, diff uh, have different takes on it. So yeah, check out uh, advanced JavaScript. Now the next one, it comes as no surprise. Next.js has completely cannibalized the React community and it is the go-to uh, framework out there right now. So React's popularity has kind of translated into Next popularity right now. And this course by uh, Max, who we've already talked about quite a bit, and we already know what to expect from his courses. They're always updated, highly popular. And not only does it talk about Next.js, it also talks about React, because obviously that's what it's built on. It wants to uh, kind of help you understand that as well. So it's some projects in here, and it, it talks about, uh, you know, data fetching and uh, routing and all the, the interesting things that you get with Next.js. So, Absolutely check this out. If you are going to be a web software engineer, 
and you are going to go down the JavaScript React route, it is just a natural thing that you should learn. And finally, but certainly not least, is the Git and GitHub Bootcamp by Colt Steele. Now, Colt is actually a great teacher, and this course is one of the biggest uh, software engineering courses on Udemy for that reason. Now, if you are buying into the whole terminal and bash and all that stuff that we've spoken about in the beginning, then this is a great pairing to all of that. Well, once you've learned those, um, you know, definitely go and take a look at this because improving your Git foo is a very, very diverse skill set. You can do so much when you really know how to use Git and it is, it can be a very tough language to get into because there is just absolutely so much you can do with your history um, and your changes and all of that stuff. Um, but it kind of goes through some best practices, some great tips and tricks on what to do um, in certain situations and just understanding the basics as well. So this is one of those courses that starts at a very beginning level and helps you and holds your hand through to an advanced stage. And that's all nine courses. I hope those were useful. And if you are uh, interested, go check them out. I'll leave the links in the description. But other than that, my name is Harry. If you found that useful, please do like and subscribe. Every subscription, every like, every comment uh, helps the channel immensely to grow. So with that, farewell, and I will see you in the next one.